Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong So, my camera, what's wrong with you? I know you guys see it, right? But my screen has flipped around. Anyway, so we live in the south. We don't get a lot of bad weather, but they're calling for bad weather tomorrow. So we're gonna batten down the hatches. Are we gonna batten down the hatches? I thought there was another one these. So we got some plastic put on. It's just to help block the wind. It's supposed to get really windy. We got the trampoline secure. I'm still gonna have to secure some stuff out here. Probably gonna take the wind chime down. No. That plant, which Why is dead. Journey's got a plant. I came in, so my husband helped me put some tarps up around the chicken coop. Um, it's supposed to get really windy, really rainy, just some yucky weather headed our way. So to try to keep the chickens more comfortable, like less wet, um, they, they can go in their coop when it's dry in there. Um, I would just wish I had more hay to lay down in there. Um, the dogs are doing like this. Are they? But, yeah. There's, no. I was like, there's, I'd either have to steal from the goats feeding hay, and then 
I'm like, they're okay. They got hay in there right now. I just wish I had like a nice thick layer of hay, but but those don't do that. That's saving those. Put them back. For oh, one. for growing avocados. So um, I don't know if I mentioned a while ago that there was two random avocado plants growing outside, like from the seed, and so my husband brought them in, and so they've been growing fine. They've got leaves, like the one actually like lost all of its leaves and then now is sprouted back and has leaves. I'll show you guys in a minute, but right now we're gonna start school. Um, I got Zumba tonight and I'm, I wanna go, I plan on going. But I also, please put that back. Please put that back. I'm not gonna tell you again. Um, yeah, so I don't know if we're going grocery shopping tomorrow because it's supposed to be really nasty. And oh, what I was going to say is I'm, I'm making lasagna finally. I browned the burger last night because I didn't want the meat to go bad. So I browned the burger. The burger is browned. I mean, all I have to do is mix it with the sauce and then, you know, put everything together in the, the dish in the and then put it in the oven. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna put it in the oven right before we leave. Like I said, my husband comes home at six, so it's not like we're leaving the I oven on. And I need it to cook in the oven for about an hour, so from six to seven. I mean, it's fine if it goes a little bit over. I mean, it's totally fine. Um, yeah, so then that's for dinner. Um, I have my cookbook, so if you don't know, yesterday we went to Charlotte to buy a guitar for my husband from someone off Facebook Marketplace, and then we hit some Goodwills, and I found a lot of old cookbooks, and that's like, that's something I'm into, like I'm into, I feel like for the past, I don't know what, three, four years, I have done a lot of recipes that I found online or saw on different websites. Now I just want to dig deeper into like, you know, some older recipes that, you know, or maybe put a new spin on a recipe that I already do make. Um, there was one for lasagna in one of these. No, it wasn't the best one. I don't remember which one it is. This one, oh my land, I'll tell you guys, this one cream of the crop right here um these people were feeding a lot of people because okay so right here um you are going to make green tomato pickles you need seven and a half pounds of tomatoes seven and a half pounds of tomatoes two cups of lime two gallons of water so we got our seven and a half pounds of tomatoes, two cups of lime, two gallons of water. Soak for 24 hours. Wash the lime off in three washes. A quart of vinegar, a tablespoon of cloves, five pounds of sugar. That's, that's the part that gives me. Five pounds of sugar. And one tablespoon of whole pickling spice. Cook 30 to 40 minutes slowly and pack in jars and seal. That's like a a canning recipe, I'm assuming, and not an appetizer. But there was like more in here that I was like, how many people? There was one that was like, um, I don't remember, very red slaw beets. I'll have to find it. It was a dinner, a dinner one. I know it was here because I remember looking at their meat. One fryer chicken, because back in the day, your chicken didn't come cut up. You had to fry, buy your chicken and cut it up yourself. Are you ready for this, guys? Are you ready for this? I'm not lying, possum and rice. Possum and rice. Mom. You need right. one medium possum, so next time we catch and a possum outside. outside, this is what we're having for dinner. I'm texting this to my husband. What, baby? 
Don't put that in your mouth, okay? I got it off. Okay. Um, yeah, I have to take a picture of this. And send it to my husband because seeing is believing. I'm gonna ask him where I can get a possum from. Please don't make a mess on the floor that I just swept him up. But just toys. And I said, now I know what to do with the possum. <laughs> yeah, okay, so possum, we're gonna have some possum and rice, ready? One medium possum, two sticks of celery, two onions, one bell pepper, salt to taste, black pepper, two pounds of rice, and water. The amount it takes to cook two pounds of rice. Cut up onions and bell pepper into four pieces and put all the ingredients except the rice in a crock pot. Cook on high until the meat falls off the bone. Pull out most of the bones, then throw all the rice in. Allow to cook in the possum juice until it is done. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if we're going to have that for dinner tonight or not. I don't want to eat a possum. Here's lasagna. And they spelled lasagna wrong, but it's okay. One Italian sausage, bolt pork sausage, ground beef, glow, clove, garlic, chopped parsley, basil, salt, tomatoes, tomato paste, lasagna noodles, egg, large curd, cottage cheese, salt, pepper, chopped parsley, parmesan, and mozzarella. Mm -hmm. he, sent me, he sent me a gif bag and said, that's disgusting. <laughs> Beef company and gravy. Barbecue meatballs. Supper in a dish. So yeah, there are a lot of recipes in here I'd like to try, but possum is not one. So we're gonna we're gonna Oh here's shipwreck casserole. Just like what me um Jacqueline. I almost said Mandy. Jacqueline, shipwreck casserole, look. So if you don't know, um, Jacqueline's mom sometimes makes shipwreck casserole. She shared it on her channel, and so hers, she shared it on her channel, on her channel, and um, I made it before, so. I'm gonna send her this picture. Why you gotta be upside down, you dumb thing. Okay, Joan, we gotta start school. Mm, now it didn't turn. Bam, 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 bam. Here I am in a text message sending it to my husband instead of Jacqueline. It's Jacqueline's birthday today. I already wished her a happy birthday earlier. Uh, on. I messaged her, texted her. Anyway, come on, Jern. Impossible turkey pie. Best ever meatloaf. I wish I could find the one thing I was like, what is that? Vegetables. Cushion for me. Marker? Is it in your box? Yeah. So, Saturday, what did we do? Play. We went to thrift stores. We went up to antique mall and then what did we do yesterday go to church and we went to charlotte do i get it 
cross it off. So this is today. Today is Monday, January 8th. Can you say happy birthday, Jacqueline? Happy birthday, Jacqueline. Do you remember meeting her? You played with her son? That nice. Dude. What is she doing? I don't know. Okay. She's just have to do it. Sarah pledged, So last week we learned about Petey. This week we're going to learn about the inch, inchy inchworm. Can you say that? Inchy worm. Inchy inchworm inched, which means moved slowly out of bed. Hump, itchy inchworm humped up the middle of his back. Bump. Inchy inchworm bumped ahead. Bunch. Inchy inchworm bunched means he stretched his tail back into the rest of his green body. So can you do like this, like an inchworm? Let me see. Watch, I can't. <laughs> yep, you're being an inchworm. My throat feels so itchy, sniffed Inchy Inchworm. My head hurts too. Uh oh, what do you think's wrong with him? He has skitter pox. Skitter pox. Hump, bump, bunch, Inchy Inchworm inched his way into the treehouse bathroom. Hump, bump, bunch, Inchy Inchworm slowly inched up his little pink step stool. The little pink step stool was just tall enough so that Inchy Inchworm could reach the sink all by himself. So I'm getting ready to make the lasagna. Bernie's coloring her Inchy the Inchworm. I'm just making lasagna the way I normally make it, but there are recipes in these books that I would like to try because a lot of it doesn't involve, you know, jarred spaghetti sauce. I'm just gonna pour it into my meat that is already cooked. Give it a good mix. Lay eggs, so they they're laying eggs, but not as much as they used to lay eggs, and they keep laying them in with the hens that are sitting on eggs. So it's just hard for me to tell which ones are baby eggs. Yeah, they were sitting on, Wait. and the fresh ones. So. Yeah, we might do that. We might candlelight them. No! What? With a light! Yeah, that's called candlelighting. With a light, we'll shine a light. We can okay. do it with a... We can just do it with a flashlight. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this one more. So I got an Italian style cheese. Um, normally I buy a big pack, but they didn't have it. So I bought two of the little ones. One's for the top. And got one egg. Finish. 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 Okay, baby. I got to finish. Can baby. I help you? I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. So I can help you. Can I stir it when I get to the end? Wash. Mm -hmm. If we're a little
not yet. The, the lasagna will go in there. Smells like soap. It doesn't smell like to me, so I need to ask how I'll help you. Give it a stir. I gotta put some on here. <laughs> I definitely have one of those to do burglish. gonna do one layer of this and then this will all go in the middle layer. Oh. We need some right there. Yeah. That's for that. We're gonna put some of that in top. Yeah, I'm going to Have a piece. Did there I already go. put some of this? I did. Can we put some of that on top? Hold on, we're gonna put these. I I can put that one down there. Put that big one there. And go ahead and put that wherever you think it needs to go. spaghetti sauce. So maybe we'll save some for tomorrow. Yeah, maybe we'll eat some spaghetti. I really want a piece. Okay, it's cold. I want a cold piece. Yes. I want a cold piece then. Mine. Oh, you gotta back up. Put your shoes on, your socks, and your shoes. But your boots. They want a piece. Okay. 
So he's going to share what he does for our spicy waters. This is what I do for us. You can do whatever you want to do. To taste, right? The video, I, the video I watched, the woman's like, cayenne pepper. It's hot. So you put it to how much ever cayenne pepper you can tolerate. Now I wouldn't start out heavy with it. I'd start out low. This is, I don't know if this is good or bad. It just says Himalayan pink sea salt. There's probably a different kind. I bought this kind. I don't know nothing about it. Just trying something different. Anyway, so Pam says she enjoys the salt in her. I do. Okay. But right off that, I can't really tell you what the salt's doing. I don't remember. I can Google it or... It helps with migraines. All right, so this one, this thing's about empty. So... You, about I, I, a half a teaspoon? I don't know. Here's... This is like a little party spoon. Yeah, that's about a half about a like teaspoon. About like that. Okay. Half a teaspoon of, sea, of Himalayan salt. I almost said sea salt. But... Pink Himalayan salt. But look in the Celtic salt. If you, we don't have any Celtic salt. It's fairly expensive. Okay. This is the kind of cayenne pepper I bought. Is it good? I, I know it's hot, but you might, you might prefer a different brand. So knock yourself out. <laughs> right. That's about right there. Is all I put. For around Pam's, unless she's made me mad, then I add more. <laughs> but she's watching me, so I might give her just a little bit, a little bit more. It's it's not that it burns your mouth. Spicy. It's just that you know you've eaten something or you know had something fairly warm. Now that's about what I put in mine. And how? And what's the the? Kind of, it's for blood flow. It's supposed to be better for your. I don't know. That's why I, I don't. I don't want to get misquoted, so I. Ain't so gonna look say, it up. So. Look it up. That's what I said. Look it up. Look it up. Okay. <clears throat> this is the kind of ginger that we buy. Well, this is the only ginger I've ever bought. Okay. Now, I did see this thing on Instagram where this this isn't the best. This isn't a good ginger, but it's not a bad ginger. It was kind of like one star out of, I don't know, maybe four. But anyway, I don't remember what the ginger's for. I know it's for, uh, isn't it for inflammation? I think the turmeric is for inflammation. Alright, that's about right there. So it would be like a fourth of a teaspoon? I don't know. I've never tried that. Alright. About a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay. Now, Tumor this is the kind of, uh -oh, this <laughs> kind of been buying. Is it good? I don't know. Is it yellow? <laughs> I don't I don't buy McCormick. That's one thing I don't I'm not gonna buy. This I'm is not, organic. I'm not gonna buy or is, uh, but this might be just as bad, so I don't know. Anyway, about yay much and this is supposed to be good for inflammation. A quarter of a teaspoon. What inflammation? I don't know. The only thing I noticed is whenever I started doing these regularly, I had more energy. And it wasn't like and I'm not gonna say more energy not like like woo man i could run around the house kind of energy but it was like i just didn't feel as tired all the time so okay so that's pretty much it on that but people add cinnamon people add i don't know you forgot the lemon i haven't got over there oh uh, wait a minute i'll do it right there okay pick your poison whatever herbs you want Now, I don't know about in your area, but we don't have nothing but seedy lemons here. Seedy lemons. Seedy lemons, so. And I heard this thing that if, uh, like, things like this are supposed to have seeds in them. I've never seen a, a lemon not have, I mean, I've seen a lemon maybe have, like, one, one or two seeds, but then these just have rich and plentiful. But it was talking about how grapes don't have any seeds well that's been modified to not have seeds 
And then it's not good for you, right? Yeah. Did, did you want to stay away from the modded crap? So. The GMO, I guess is what it means. The be. juice of one lemon. I just, how much ever I can squeeze. If you got, we got a squeezer. I just don't like the way it works. Juicer. Yeah. Squeezer, juicer. So this is what I do. And I try to catch the seeds before they pop, pop in, but. Neither one of us have grown a lemon tree in our guts yet. Now the lemon uh, digestion, I think. And it's supposed to be good for us, so like hydration. Good for what? I know it's good for vaginas. <laughs> you sour push you. <laughs> it's supposed to be. I don't know about that. Remember that doctor? She was telling me how to drink lemonade to help. Create a more hostile environment. What doctor? Doctor Joyce? Joyce. Yeah, what, what was the little old lady from the eighties? Oh no. What was her what who was that? What was her name? I don't know. You know who I'm talking about? Doctor Ruth. Doctor Ruth. Doctor yeah. Ruth, that's who I don't know who Doctor Joyce is. No. It was uh what's her name? When I would, when I was having urinary tract infection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said that if you have a more of a drink lemonade, put a little lemon in your water, creates a more hostile environment to grow bacteria so you don't get UTI. It's one of the avocado trees. It just started coming up. It's getting some new leaves. Here it is. Okay, put it in that one. And then the other one's right here. Don't mind this leaf. It's from the other plant. It's because I neglected it and forgot to water it. And it's so dramatic when I do that. Avocado. It's just in this old paint. Actually, it's a peanut butter. <laughs> Wasn't this peanut butter pretzels and then it got paint in it? Yeah. Then it, had, then it was a paint jar, and then it was just outside. Hi, guys. So Zumba was fun. We didn't get any clips from Zumba because it was packed. You guys, I don't know what happened last week. Um, so she didn't have any class on New Year's Day, which was Monday. But Thursday, she, normally the first of the year, she says, you know, it's packed. So Thursday, there was like four of us, four of us there. And so I showed up today thinking, you know, maybe there might be a few more people. It was packed. There was probably, but it, the funny, it's, it's so hilarious, you guys, because I, I, when I used to go to Zumba before this past year, um, when I went to Zumba before, I would always be in the back of the line. Something on the camera. I gotta look at that. Um, but I would go to the back of the line because I didn't want anyone looking at my butt, right? Um, but since going this time, um, the back row is was always taken. So I was forced to be in the front, basically. Um, and so I've always been in the front. And so... Now, I, you know, it's no big deal. I'm like, whatever. You know, we're all here for the same thing. You know. So, um, this time, everybody, but, okay, so, like, the back of the row was, like, boop, 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 And then it was, like, Lewis, which is uh, one of the older gentlemen that comes. Um, and usually his wife, Bar Barbara, is right next to him. But they are usually, like, okay, let's imagine four rows right although people don't go in the row but imagine there's a like room for like four rows of people um they're usually in the second row from the back you know over on on the if you're facing it it'd be the left hand side and we're usually on the right hand side and usually like first second row somewhere in there you know um but then there was nobody coming and so the girls and I just kind of moved to the back and there's like a bench back there so that's why you guys saw like pretty much the back of me um 
Sterly, Sterly is my videographer, you know. Anyway, so then this time, um, because I had to do the lasagna and all that other jazz, um, we got there like pretty much at six o'clock, and she starts at six o'clock. But the back row was just probably. eight or nine people I don't know and then there was Lewis um, Barbara wasn't there which is his wife and then another regular um, I don't even know her name she was there and another one she's been coming for a while she was next to her and then then there was like this big open space and then there was me and then there was the instructor so it's like instructor me big open space and then um, actually it would be like those three and then everybody else was in the back line <laughs> like, never. Uh, anyway um, needless to say Zumba was good there was something sticky on this and there's still some sticky on it I tried to wipe it off but I am having a nice cup of tea it just sounded good I'm like a cup of tea my cookbooks, a um, little bit of Walton's, or yeah, I think Walton's. I, I don't know. I was debating. So, if you don't know, I really love Little House on a Prairie. And like, I have watched the whole series from beginning to end probably at least four times. Um, and I did, I think I did watch it last year as well. And, you know, it's, I just like to start at the beginning and then just, you know, watch, watch season by season, you know. It takes a little bit of time, but, you know, when I'm working or whatever, you know. And it's something that I've already watched it, so I don't necessarily have to be watching it to know what's going on. Um... And it always makes me cry. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, just something I can put on for company. And so I was like, do I watch Little House on the Prairie or do I continue with the Waltons? So I started the Waltons. I don't remember when I started watching the Waltons. It was this this past year, 20, 2023. I started watching the Waltons from the beginning. And the Waltons is one of those those ones where I liked it, but I wasn't like, like I really wasn't into it until I, until like this past, like when I actually like sat down and watched it and I am like totally invested in it. Um, but now we've gotten to the season. There's like sand in this. We got into the season. This is just a, a planner that Sterling got me last Christmas. And I've used it several times, but as you can tell, I haven't used it all. So I was going to write my grocery list out. Got my cookbooks. But anyway. So now the Waltons is in. Let me. You guys are probably not even interested. They're like, Pam, who cares about the Waltons? Or the House on the Prairie. <laughs> but I do. Uh, it's like season I don't know but the grandfather has passed away uh, the grandmother is she she was gone okay so first the grandmother was gone for a while she was in the hospital and then it, I don't know what happened it was just all of a sudden the next season started and grandpa passed away like they didn't actually show like you know unless there was a, a episode I missed what I did not click on that I clicked on this um we're on season nine uh, so I'm on season nine I'm on episode six but yeah, 
I don't know how many seasons there are. Anyway, I guess I'll, I guess I will watch the ones and get to work. Oh, I brought this, I brought this upstairs and then I brought it back downstairs. I didn't know if it would fit my table, um, to make it as a tablecloth. I was just going to sew the ends and make, uh, you know, a tablecloth. It's like farm stuff. And so I bought this fabric probably at Joann's last year sometime or the year before. It was in my box of hopes and dreams. And I, there's probably two and a half yards here maybe. Um, but I didn't know if it would fit my table. It does. It fit it perfectly. So I'm like, do I make a tablecloth out of it? Because it's very pretty. Or do I make curtains? our kitchen because the, the little valances in our kitchen haven't been replaced since like 20 years probably more than 20 years um, so I'm like do I do I make curtains because it would make really cute curtains and then okay so I also so we have a valance that's above our window because you know it's that way you could always look out it right so we have that and then on the other um, by our door there is blinds we have blinds on there but there's also a valence up there but I was thinking of replacing the valence with some curtains that kind of go you know what I mean like two curtains like make it look I don't know home more homey but this would be enough to make those curtains and the valence probably do I want that or do I want a tailcloth I don't know. Or do I want something else for my curtains? Like a, like a gingham print? I would like a, like a brown gingham. Did I make a brown gingham? I think that would look a red. I oh, know I don't want red. Red is like too, you know, I don't know. But this is cute, right? I don't know. Okay, let's get to work in start this episode and drink our tea. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye guys.